listen Do your own math and learn the stuff that you are missing Create your own path with your own vision Hey, this is Rodney Porter for Homeless Not Helpless TV. Today's date is July 28th, 2010, Wednesday. Today's show we have is entitled Personal Growth. That's a series, it's an ongoing series issues relating to personal growth for myself and you we will cover a term we like to call in the streets of our cities more particular being stuck I've been stuck for quite a few years quite a few years but listen all that's changing stuck for me I'm homeless but I live in a car so no money no gas no registration no car insurance no driver's license and the worst thing of all no tags. At least they can see if I'm driving. Legally. But I don't even have the tags. So. I would stay in my car. And sit in parking lots. Like now. One for the depression. Two to stay out the way of the police. Because I am a. Abiding citizen. But you do have to do. What you have to do. So being stuck, it's personal growth knowing you can tell the truth and tell the truth about yourself. A lot of times we say we can, then someone says, no, but you're really like that. And you get mad. What you talking about? No, I'm not. Then all kinds of stuff will happen. So I'm here to say being stuck helped me, but truly hurts me. The reason why it hurts me, I can't go anywhere, I can't move, I can't extend my hand outward to society. I can't be a part of what society has to offer if I'm in one place, one location, ducking and dodging, and things of that nature. Being put, staying put, gives you a lot of time to do what? One, think. Two, think again. And three, think. These things go through your mind. Because if you have no money, you can't buy anything. If you have no food, you can't eat. If your stomach is growling, you're snapping at people. And you're growling at people. So I like to stay to myself. I'm my only child. So I'm used to being a loner. I have a wonderful amount of friends, but I don't need new friends. Somebody told me back in the day, when you get older and you need new friends, something's wrong with you. I'm very personable. People I don't even know, complete strangers, like me, and I like them. Naturally, we're strangers. So you have to know right away what's going on being stuck won't allow you to develop relationships go out and make things happen when you're scared to get pulled over or you might not have enough gas you kinda sell yourself short and say nah I'm busy or nah it's okay being stuck it showed me humility it's right in your face. It's in your face every single day. Things we wish we wouldn't do. But I'm sick of being stuck. After you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, that's when you stop. 
And my pattern is do something for a little while, then stop. Then do something else for a little while, then move on to something else. Never completing an actual task of importance to me. And now I'm on that mission. Did it take me becoming homeless? Mm -hmm. You would think not. But I'm going to have to say, yeah. Me being homeless, unfortunately, is the only way I was going to get off my ass and do something. My mom told me. My friends told me. My family members told me. You know, I want, I want to do good. I want to do the right thing. Just didn't do it. But I always knew I was going to make it. I always knew I wasn't going to just be decrepit and give excuse after excuse after excuse. Now, six years is a long time to say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to stop this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to start doing this, and don't do it. Stop fooling yourself and do it. Don't say it, do it. Being stuck has helped me. Being stuck has hurt me. I don't like the feeling and the emotion of being hurt and a negative feeling is the worst. And your whole outlook on everything is totally different. Now these things are changing, being stuck. I'm actually looking for my place now. I went to a rental agency to uh, receive an application get some details about what I want, getting out of that stuck mode. It's time to move, progress, because I know I'm talented. I'm very blessed with attributes that you have also. But for anyone out there that, for whatever reason, just will not do what needs to be done and they're stuck, get out of being stuck. Sl slap yourself. Slap yourself around. Something. Because if somebody's not cussing you out, slapping you around somebody else, it's not working. You got to do something. Nothing happens until you do it. Nothing got going for me until I got off my ass and stopped feeling sorry for myself sitting in the car so I was able to get some GR, able to be on some SSI. Yeah, that gave me confidence. you damn right I'm ready. It takes a while. But when you stop being stuck, you will have great fortune. Don't stop. But get up and release yourself. This reporter has done it again. Ran my mouth, but I hope you picked up something. Personal growth. It's an internal thing. It's everything. Stop being stuck and get up. Homeless Not Helpless TV. Wishing you a happy, happy, wonderful evening and a great day. Manana. See you. Thank you.